Hey guys, this is Vivek from Gizpod and I hope you're doing well. So as you can see on the screen, we've got LG G3 Beat with us right now and I'm gonna unbox it and show you the inbox content and the phone as well. Uh, okay, without any delay, let me uh, go ahead and show you how the device looks. Okay, uh, at the back of the retail box, you've got few things mentioned. That's a 5 inch true HD IPS display and 1.2 gigahertz of quad core processor. You've got 8 megapixel laser autofocus camera and a speaker with boost amplifier. And you've got a battery of 2540 uh, milliamp and uh, also Android technology mentioned up here. As you can see up there, you've got LG's proprietary uh, lock uh, application that's not code which has got uh, several hundreds of combinations uh, via which you can unlock the phone and all okay uh, the price out here it's mentioned uh, rupees 25,000 and it is in fact uh, launched at the price of rupees uh, uh, 25,000 itself few days back okay uh, let me unbox the device and show you how it looks okay there you have an elegant looking LG G3 Beat, that's a mini variant of LG G3 in fact. What you get is a battery, you get a quick start guide here, you have a wall charger, a pair of headphones and you get a USB, uh, USB cable, that's a micro USB to USB uh, uh, cable. So uh, basically you get these uh, contents inside the box okay let me keep these things aside for a while and okay uh, that's the phone which uses the same laser focus technology and although it's a stripped down uh, camera sensor compared to the LG G3 uh, one uh, which was used in LG G3 in fact and it's got a single LED flash as well the proprietary uh, key layout has also been uh, used in the LG G3 Beat if you can see that and it's got a brushed metal finish at the back it's 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 got a slight tinge of uh, gold color it's a plastic it's a plastic and it's pretty light without the battery and okay there you have it that's a back panel and it's 2540 milliamp battery that's a Lee ion battery and okay uh, it's got a single sim card uh, tray uh, a micro SD card a slot as well a sound grill down there let me put it here. It's, it's a plastic if I can show you that okay and that's the plastic uh, finishing there I think you've got a thin metal rim uh, edges I think the frame of the device is built with metal and let me uh, switch it on by the time it switches on let me uh, brief you this about the specs the LG G3 Beat is actually a 5 inch uh, smartphone which comes with HD IPS uh, display that's an LCD display uh, and if I translate the resolutions it will come up to 2280 by 720 pixels and it's powered by 1.2 gigahertz of quad core snapdragon 400 processor coupled with adreno 305 gpu which is exactly the same one which uh, moto g second generation has used and it also comes with a similar 1 gb ram 8 gb internal memory and uh, an expansion memory card slot uh, which uh, supports up to 32 gb of uh, sd card it runs on Android uh, version 4.4.2 that's a KitKat version and at the back the camera which you see is not the 13 megapixel one which uh, the LG G3 actually uses it comes with an 8 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and laser autofocus technology at least and at the front uh, you get you get a 1.3 megapixel uh, shoot as well in terms of dimension, the phone is pretty sleek and it measures uh, up to 10.3 mm and weighs up to 134 grams. Uh, you've got a wide range of connectivity options like 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS and also NFC. And as I told you, the battery is uh, 2540 mAh. It comes in a wide range of color variants as well in metallic black, silk white, shine gold, which I think I'm holding right now and uh, yeah basically uh, that's the background of the phone 
okay uh, let me set up the device and you've got a customized uh, UI uh, LG UI which uh, is comparatively better than other UIs from Lenovo or even other smartphones like Sony and all you get a beautiful layout if you can see the notification panel you can see the differences in fact so you get a quick memo option which is one of the finest application that LG has used in all its uh, smartphones of late and you also get a quick remote and quick slide which will actually help you a lot while doing a multitasking uh, operations in your phone anyways uh, let's go to the head up to the settings and see what all okay uh, that's LG G3 beat and battery wise it's got 70 you can see all the details out here and uh, software information regarding as I told you earlier it runs an Android KitKat version 4.4.2 and uh, yeah it's got a very good processor as well although the price is comparatively higher than the Moto G with a similar specification I think it the looks of the device and the color I think this makes a little bit of a forte of the handset let me show you other aspects as well LG has actually uh, separated all the settings uh, option in, in a very easy fashion where you can actually search everything in an easy way you've got this daydream screen off effect and also uh, you get a knock code etc to lock your phones and also maintain your uh, security features and uh, you also have a quick circle keys uh, support which means uh, I think uh, you've seen the quick circle keys with the round uh, opening at the flip cover where you can actually see all those uh, small notifications and etc you get the battery options printing uh, let me show you the camera UI as well Okay, that's the LG G3 Beats uh, camera UI Here are the options like you've got G shutter speed and you've got HDR And you've got a think you've got just two modes as of now you get a panorama and auto mode yes I guess you have a lot of uh, resolution to set out here the 8 megapixel camera can actually shoot up to 3664 by 24 to 48 uh, resolution well, that's a pretty uh, good thing for a smartphone camera to have Okay, that was the UI of the camera. And okay, uh, the phone. Uh, anyways, this was the early ha unboxing of the device, and we'll be shortly coming up with a full-on review and also full-on review on the video aspect. So, uh, if you like the video, do hit the like button. You can also follow this bot on Facebook, Twitter, and G Plus as well. Thanks for watching, and do stay tuned to this bot.